Well, one of the things of speaking last is everybody's already pretty much said everything. But first and foremost, I want to thank all of the Kukupai tribal membership, our elders, everyone that made the trip up here. This is not unusual for us. We have been doing this for decades. We have traveled to the Fort Yuma Indian Hospital, and we will be traveling to the new clinic when it's here. As I was driving up here this morning, I remembered that. And as uh, Mr. Dominguez said, getting a ticket, I've gotten a few of those because I need to make my appointment or else I wouldn't be seen. So we, I think we all know what that feels like. I want to also thank the Kutan membership. I have lived here all my life. I have been honored and privileged to know many of you in many different ways throughout the years. And I am proud to say that I am a part of the Yuma community and that a river divides us, but we are one. And we worked as one to get this done. And I would really be remiss this morning if I did not acknowledge the work that uh, Mr. Melvin did. When he came down, I think we looked at him as the school teacher that said, you guys need to get in a room and get this done. Here's what you need to do. Here's how you need to do it. So he rounded us up, and no matter what we wanted to do or what we felt we had to do, he said, no. If you guys want it done, this is what you got to do. So I'm really happy to see him today here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Melvin. Uh, maybe we didn't thank you too much back then. We probably had other words, but thank you for all that you have done for us. It's a part of growing up. None of us like to be told what to do by our parents, but I think many of us are much better people for that. So I am proud today to be a part of this second leg of the journey. As everyone said, it was a fight getting the money. We got it, we lost it, we got it, we lost it. We got it. We still weren't excited. We said we want to see it in black and white. We got it. Then we said we want to break ground so we can get started. That took forever. But here we are. In the 80s, as we fought for this, we're saying maybe in the 90s we're going to have a new hospital. 90s came and went. 90s, let's talk about the 2000s, came and went. So here we are, 2016, and we're ready to put the shovel in the ground. But that's only part two. I'll be excited when the building goes up. So everyone has talked about all of the work that has, been, has gone into this. So I'm not gonna go down that road again because it was a long, hard road. And I can't attempt to thank everyone that was involved because I know I'll miss someone. But again, I've had the honor and the privilege of working with past presidents of the Catan tribe, Kokopai tribe. Again, we don't always agree, but the goal was the same. It was how to work together to get to that goal. So we have all worked together. And today in the audience, I see some past council members from, uh, from Kokopai anyway. I see Mr. Neil White, I believe Mr. Irwin Twist, Ms. Phyllis Miller, Ms. Faye Ortega, Mr. Paul Soto, they were all on council many years ago. And this fight was going on back then. Yes, give them a round of applause. This is how long it's gone back. I think Faye's the only one here with hair whiter than mine. <laughs> but as I, you know, this is something, it's, it's a joyous occasion, it is. But it is bittersweet because there are so many that fought for this. There are so many that waited for this day and they've gone on, they passed on. And I know there are bitter feelings among people, but all we can try and do is make it better. As Mr. Dominguez said, you know, we fought to keep the hospital. We fought and we fought, but we knew one day it was either we're gonna take something here a better facility for our people, or we're gonna to stick to our guns and fight for another two, three decades. We need something for our people now. So decisions had to be made. Maybe they weren't the most popular, but they are decisions based on what we need. As I came up here this morning, I thought about the hospital because I believe there's gonna be a part of taking it down. I have bittersweet memories of that also. Much to the chagrin of many of my membership, I was born there. 
So it has fond memories for me. But I also saw many of my family members pass there. And I think one of the hardest things that I, I get over, I try to get over day to day is watching them wheel my mother down the corridor, getting ready to be flown off to Phoenix and to never see her return. So there's all kinds of emotions and memories in that facility. Good, bad, and different. But it, it feels good to stand here. My journey in this began back 30 years ago. And as I said, I have been honored to work with past presidents, council members, endless people, legislators, some that have actually passed on also. But we are here today, 2016. Hopefully, in a few more years or a couple of years, no more, I hope, that we can open the doors and walk in. And that will create a tremendous occasion. But this is just step two. We still, this is just the shell. This is the building that we're going to go in. The next step is making sure we have the right equipment, making sure we have the right people, making sure that whatever is in that building is going to be the best for our people. Illness, disease, it doesn't know Kutsan, Kwapa, it doesn't know that. It attacks us all. And all we can do is try to mount ourselves to battle the best we can. So in closing, again, I just want to say thank you to all the past, because there are many, many people. None of us would be here if others hadn't laid the gr groundwork for us to be here. And the pride and the dedication we can show them is that we will carry this on and we will get this done. It's good to see Dr. Harrison and some of the other people that have come and gone, again, as uh, Dr. Harry said, so Ellen Lee not died, but have moved on to other places. I'm glad to see they came back to share this time with us. And to all of you, I know you have things to do, but I'm glad to see you here. Our head starts, our young children, this is all about them. We've come through our lives and we've come to a place that we understand what our Creator has given us. What we do with it is our choice. And hopefully that choice includes bringing up these young children in a way that will show respect and dedication for the people that raised them. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here this morning. I appreciate each and every one of you and all that you do and any role that you may play in getting the job done. Thank you very much. <laughs>